hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this tutorial we are going to see how to tune the data warehouse and the challenges that we will face while tuning a data warehouse so in the last lecture we have seen how the backup and recovery strategies work in data warehousing along with their categories so now we will discuss all about tuning the data warehouse so as you already know that the data warehouse will keep evolving as the business will grow and it will be very unpredictable which type of query the user will going to run in the future so therefore it is quite difficult for tuning the data warehouse system so in this lecture we will discuss how to tune the different aspects of data warehouse such as performance data loading and queries but now we will see what are the different challenges in data warehouse tuning so the tuning a data warehouse is quite difficult procedure because of this given reasons so first one is as we already discussed data warehouse is dynamic so it never remains constant it keeps evolving as per the business will grow it will be a big challenge for tuning the data warehouse next one is it is very unpredictable what query the user will post in future so as per the requirement of the data analyst or a user we cannot predict in advance which type of queries they can run on the data warehouse which will hamper the performance of data warehouse systems the next one is business requirements changes with time so it is quite obvious as the business will evolve the requirements and objectives of the data warehouse will change the next one is the type of users and their profiles will keep changing so as the user profile will change that could be the big challenge for data warehouse tuning as well as they can switch from one group to another that is also a big reason and the last one is the data load on the data warehouse also will change within the time so these are some challenges for the data warehouse tuning our next topic is performance assessment so what do you mean by that so there are some objective measures of this performance assessment the first one is average query response time it is the average time a database will take to run a specific type of query that the user will post the next one is scan rates also the time used per day query the memory usage per process and the input and output throughput rates so these are some performance measures of a data warehouse but you have to remember some points clearly the first one is it is very necessary to specify the measures in service level agreement or a sla the second is so it is of no use for trying to tune the response time if they are already better than the required the next one is it is very essential for having the realistic expectations while making the performance assessments it is also essential that the users have feasible expectations and it is also possible that the user can write a query you had not tuned for it is one possibility our next topic is data load tuning so data load is a critical part of overnight processing so nothing else can run until the data load is completed so this is the entry point into the system note down one point so if there is a delay in transferring the data or in arrival of the data then the entire system will affect badly so therefore it is very important for tuning the data load first so there are some various approaches for tuning the data that we will discuss now the first approach is to insert the data into sql layer so in this approach normal checks and constraint need to be performed so when the data is inserted into the table the code will run to check for enough space to insert the data so if the sufficient space is not available then more space may have to be located to these tables so this checks takes time to perform and are very costly to central processing unit the second approach is to bypass all the checks and constraint and place the data directly to the preformatted blocks so these blocks are later written into the database so it is faster than the first approach 
but it can work only with the whole blocks of data. So this can lend some pace wastages. The third approach is while loading the data into table that already contains the table, we can maintain the indexes. So what are indexes we have already discussed in our SQL tutorial that you can access from the description below. And the fourth approach is to load the data in the table that already contain data, drop the indexes and recreate them when the data load is completed. So the choice between the third and fourth approach depends on how much data is already loaded and how many indexes needs to be rebuilt. Our next topic is integrity checks. So integrity checking highly affects the performance of the data load. So you have to remember two points clearly. So integrated checks needs to be limited because they will require heavy processing power. And the next one is integrity checks should be applied on the source system to avoid performance degradation of the data load. So these two points you have to remember clearly for performing the integrity checking. The next point is tuning queries. So we have two kind of queries in the data warehousing. First one is fixed query and second one is ad hoc queries. So fixed queries runs at a specific time with the regular interval as per the requirement of the business. So these fixed queries are well defined. There are mainly three examples of this fixed query such as regular reports, canned queries and common aggregations. So tuning the fixed queries in data warehouse is same as in relational database system. The only difference is that the amount of data to be queried may be different. So it is good to store the most successful execution plan while testing fixed queries. So storing this execution plan will allow us to spot changing the data size and data skew as it will cause the execution plan to change. Note down the one point clearly. We cannot do more on the fact table, but while dealing with dimension table or aggregations, the usual collection of SQL tweaking, storage mechanism and access methods can be used to tune these queries. Our next type of query is ad hoc query. So what is ad hoc query that we have already discussed in this data warehouse series. So to understand this, it is important to know the ad hoc users of the data warehouse. So for each user or group of users, you need to know some points clearly such as the number of users in the group, whether they have used the ad hoc queries at regular intervals or frequently or occasionally at unknown intervals, as well as the maximum size of query that they tend to run, the average size of query, whether they require drill down access to the base data, the elapsed login time per day, the peak time of daily usage and the number of queries that they will run per peak hour. And for ad hoc queries, you have to remember some points clearly, such as it is very important for tracking the user's profile and identifying the queries that will run on a regular basis. Also, it is very important that the tuning performed does not affect the performance. Also, it is very useful for identifying similar ad hoc queries that are frequently run. So if these queries are identified, then database will change and new indexes can be added for those queries. And the last one is, if the queries are identified, then the new aggregations can be created specifically for those queries that would result in their efficient executions. So these important points you have to note while dealing with tuning the data warehouse system. So I hope you got the clear idea how the tuning process works in data warehousing along with the challenges while we perform the tuning process. We have also discussed some performance measures as well as the data load tuning, the integrity checks and tuning the queries which are fixed queries and ad hoc queries. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.